appears that the brake levers are a like a stamped metal, not an alloy, but I might be wrong. I couldn't find any documentation on that. One of the things I really love about this bike is the dropper post. You just hit this lever and the post goes down. You stand up, hit it again, the seat post goes back up. This is great for bombing down those hills or if you're doing any real technical things or maybe even jumping the bike. A dropper post is the most amazing technology. I don't know why I never had one up until now. Now you can buy a dropper post with internal or external cable routing if you want to buy one. Now let's look at a few of the accessories I added to the bike. I got a mud guard for the front so roadkill and dog poop won't spray up into my face. I got a bag to go on the front where I can put my phone so I can follow maps or go ahead and text and have phone calls while I'm mountain biking. I also put a gel seat on there. The seat that came with it could hammer nails. I haven't ridden enough over the last 10 years to sit on something like that because it was like a two by four. So I decided to upgrade to a nice, um, I think it's Sela Royale or Sela Royale gel seat. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but there it is. And this is the uh, athlete version and it is really nice, especially on long rides. I also added a lightweight bottle cage. And, you know, I have a GoPro mount and that's about it. I bought some great shorts um, that are kind of like cargo shorts and they came with a padded insert. Um, that helps with the gel seat on the long rides because I usually ride for two hours. I also recently upgraded my grips and my pedals. Like I said, I did upgrade my grips and my pedals, both of which I made videos on if you'd like to see. I modified the pedals a little bit. Line seventy.
The weight of my bike is 32 and three quarter pounds with tubes. You could always probably shed a pound if you went with tubeless, but then you'd have to deal with a lot of sealant. But that seems to be the way to go these days. I'm old school. I don't want to deal with it. So here's my quick two cents. I love this bike. I love the new geometry they're using. The bike is so much more comfortable to ride. At first, I was a little uneasy riding it on the same terrain I rode the standard 26 inch mountain bike, but I got over it real quick. The bike is easy to climb hills with. Of course, it is a hardtail and it does great downhills. And if you're just going along for a leisurely stroll, putting in some miles on those legs, it's fine, it's very comfortable. And you can sit and get it up to speed and just hammer along. I think this is a great bike for somebody getting back into mountain biking or for somebody who's doesn't wanna spend 5,000.